restart this okay and let's launch her eight seconds wow there we go I'll take that <laughs> well how did you like the zero to 60 that was pretty cool huh that was done quite a while ago just want you to see that this car can go zero to 60 in approximately 2.8 seconds some people say oh the time is not right or there's something else that's tricky I don't think it's tricky. I checked the time on it. It's pretty much, I, I can't do tenths of a second, but I can tell you it's pretty, very, 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 very close to 2.8 seconds. So do the timing yourself. See what you think. One other thing, the red streak you saw on the side of my face, I went to the dermatologist yesterday. He took a sample out of here. Gonna let me know if he has to gouge it out or whatever, and leave a crater or like sew it up or whatever. I don't know. So anyway, that's my dermatologist, <laughs> but we'll survive. We'll keep going here. Let's talk about 10 reasons why you should buy the Z06 Corvette, C8 Corvette. Number one is price. Remember I told you on my other video how, uh, why not to buy the Z06 Corvette? And I said the price was too high, but Here's the thing, if you go and buy that car, no matter what the price is, excluding a fifty or hundred thousand dollar overcharge, but let's say you get it close to MSRP or at MSRP, you could drive it for two or three years and sell it, and you're probably going to get all your money back. GM is going to give you a car for free to drive for two or three years. You can turn around and sell it and probably maybe even get more of your money back. Reason number two to buy the Z06 C8 Corvette is the, not in this car, but the flat plane crank engine that's going to come in the car. Uh, this is probably the last normally aspirated Corvette ever. Pretty good chance. Um, except for the one that has the electric wheels on it. But that's the difference. Just I'm talking about a normally aspirated car with no other stuff on it. Just that engine. So let's see what happens. And of course, um, if it's the last one, which I think it will be, uh, that's going to add extra value to the car. So when you go to sell it, a few years down the line, it's going to be worth even more money. Number three, why you should buy a 2023 C8 Z06 Corvette. <laughs> Carbon ceramic brakes, they do two things. They stop great, and there's very little brake dust to deal with. Oh, and they look awesome, too. They look absolutely incredible on there. And they really, if you're tracking the car, you, you should have them. If you're not tracking the car, I don't think you really need them. Number four is the big wing. This is a small wing. This is the Z51 wing that I got on my C8 Corvette. This is small, the big wing you've seen pictures of. It's huge. Um, it also adds about three or four thousand dollars to your gas guzzler tax because it actually does slow the car down a little bit too. But let's talk about this for a minute. This is great if you track the car, like the carbon ceramic brakes. Ground effects, they have great ground effects, and uh, the spoiler optimizes the aerodynamic drag for your car. Lots of effects. Efficient cooling, replaceable spoiler wicker bills are there for you. Rear brake cooling ducts, removable front fascia panel. Nobody's even talked about that yet. That's very interesting. Front underwing stall gurneys. If you look at my one of my the the the, vi the video that I did up at Naha Chevrolet when they showed the new Z06, you can see those little pieces on the under tray of the car that help direct the uh, wind and actually help keep the car even planted a little better. But with all these things working together, the car must be incredibly uh, planted. I, I can't wait to drive one. Number five, you can get cup tires. If you order the right combinations, you can get uh, cup tires with the car. Um, I don't know if you can get them with just a straight uh, 1LZ or not, but Anyway, they are available. Um, they grip like crazy. 
Um, they're not so great in the rain. If you're driving home from the track, you're not going to have too much fun. Um, and also they wear out quicker. So it is an expense and if you've got the budget to track the car, then tires are not an issue. But if you don't have the budget to track the car and you're trying to track it, uh, this will become an issue for you because you're going to wear these tires out pretty quick. And, uh, but the Cup 2 tires are really, really good and they give the car uh, great sticky, except when it rains. When it rains, then it's no fun. Number six is to repeat number one so I can emphasize it, the pricing. If you buy one of these cars and you spend maybe five or ten thousand dollars over a window sticker and to buy it, um, and nothing goes wrong with a flat plane crank engine, then you get a car that's worth some money, I think. Now, all this goes out the window uh, if a lot of, you know, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. Some things make things uncertain, but uh, things don't look great right now. So maybe, I don't know. I think you're going to be able to, in my humble opinion, I think you're going to be able to get all your money back and then more. So go drive the car for free for two or three years for free. Thank you very much, General Motors. Number seven. There's so much carbon fiber, you can put carbon fiber on the inside, carbon fiber on the outside, interior, exterior. If you buy the right package, you can get carbon fiber wheels. It's not bad. Um, I'd probably not go for the wheels because if you ever curb them, you know what I mean by curbing? You come into a curb and you scrape the wheel along the side and the carbon fiber looks goes to crap instantaneously. It looks awful. So I would not um, get the carbon fiber wheels. Make some titanium wheels or something like that. It's really, really light. I don't know. If you, lightness is, and lightness really does help perform the car. The, the unsprung weight, they call it. That really, really helps. So that's my number seven. And by the way, uh, you'll notice I'm back in the house. And the reason I'm back in the house is it's so hot outside. It's in the 90s here today. And the equipment is uh, heating up and sometimes it shuts off and it's very uh, spotty. So I'm trying to get this video out and I'm not going to do it out in the garage. I had to come in here where the air conditioning's on and the equipment stays cooler and everything works better. So um, the Z06 is going to be also offered uh, in a con coupe and a convertible. If you track the car, I don't know if the convertible passes the rules and structural integrity that uh, the coupe has that I think the convertible may or may not have. So if you're going to track the car, I would probably suggest getting the coupe because if you go and get the convertible, they might say, nope, the structural integrity of that roof is not good enough. To, I don't know. I don't know. That's a question. That's a question that is unanswered, at least for me anyways. Anyways, at this time, if you know the answer, go do it. By the way, speaking of that, take a moment and hit the like button. And before you go, leave a comment. I read all of them. I've enjoyed them very, very much. We've had over 150 comments on the last video and over 11,000 views. And so, um, but I, I really enjoy reading them and the most 99 percent of them are really really good. a couple of couple of little goofy ones but hey that's all right um i really enjoy reading them and they were a lot of fun and and i appreciate you taking the time to do it and subscribe subscribers really help a lot too so consider doing that too number nine is the sound the sound is to me anyway well let me back up a little bit the sound is a personal thing. Some people don't like it. They want to hear that ground pounding V8 thunder, you know, and they're really hearing like a higher pitched um, Ferrari type car, uh, somewhat. And uh, I like it. I think the sound is great. That's one of the things that will set that car apart from uh, all the other cars, and that is the sound. And that sound is magnificent my own personal opinion now you might not like it put a comment down below eh, i don't like it it stinks i want that drum pounding v8 thunder well i'll tell you that go like hell scream is pretty damn nice too so i don't know we'll see 
And so now let's move up to our, to our final, final, um, why you should buy a Z06. Number 10 is kind of like, it's kind of like um, advice, kind of, free advice. <laughs> let's say um, you're way down the list on the Z06 at your dealer, you're way, you know, thousands away or something like that, or you're a small dealer and you're number 15, which you're not going to see the car for probably three years. Um, what alternative do you have? I'll tell you what alternative you have. Take, if you have a deposit on the car, just move it over to the E-Ray. Maybe you'll get a better position on the list. And the E-Ray is not going to be junk. I mean, if, if General Motors does it right, if General Motors does it right, they put 50 horsepower motors on each front wheel. So they're going to take the, the regular C8, normally aspirated engine, 495 horsepower, I guess, 500 maybe. It might tip it a little bit and give it 500, but let's say five. So then you get 250 horsepower front electric motors um, on the car. So now you've got 600 horsepower. And basically uh, kind of an all-wheel drive go like hell car, right? Sounds very, very interesting. I think that would be a very interesting car to own. So what I'm saying is, if the, and, and, and the other thing too, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think the pricing is going to be between the C8 and the Z06. So you're not going to have to pay a whole lot of money for this car. You're going to pay something that is uh, a lot less, uh, quite a bit less than the Z06, I believe. Now, I could be totally wrong. The way things are going, they'll probably make it more expensive, but I don't think so. I don't think they can for a 600 horsepower car if that's what, if they put 25 horsepower engines on the front and you get, they give you six, they give you uh, 550 horsepower, I'd almost pass on the car, but we'll see what happens. That we don't know. So everything's uh, up in the air and interesting and there's a lot of talk. Uh, the place is alive with uh, questions and uh, so anyway, I hope you liked this video. Uh, it seemed like you liked the last one and I uh, hope it gave you some ideas on why to buy the Z06 Corvette. General Motors wants to give you a free car for three years. Not bad. Thanks for watching. <laughs>